Hello and welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel, brought to you by Red Heart Yarns. In this video, I will show you how to use the new and improved Pompadoodle yarn. That's right, the yarn you love with the little pompadoodles already attached to the string is back and better than ever. The pompadoodles are now a little bit fluffier than before and there's a little bit more string for us to work into because of the pompadoodles. In this lesson, I will show you how to knit with this pompadoodle yarn. So go ahead, grab your needles and yarn, join me here, and we will get started. The nature of this pom-pom yarn is that you have these poofs of yarn separated by four inches of string. Then you have another puff, and then you have four inches. As you're working this yarn, you will only ever work into the string between the puffs. You will never actually work into those puffs. To begin knitting with this yarn, we will start with a slip knot. We want to place a slip knot as close to the first puff as possible. So what I like to do is take my forefinger, take the yarn, wrap it around my forefinger, and when I come back up, I'll cross over. Now what I'll do is I'm going to take this yarn that's now in back, and I'm just going to tuck it through the loop that was in front and then pull that up so I get a slip knot and my slip knot is really nice and close to that puff okay now I'm going to use the knitted cast on which means I need to go ahead and grab my needles and the size needles you need for this yarn is whatever size will get you two stitches between each puff so that might change between a size 11 a size 10 or maybe even a size 9 it depends on how you knit so I go ahead, I put the slip knot onto my needle and I'll take my spare needle and now I will go into that slip knot and working with the remaining string before I get to this next puff, I will wrap that string around my right hand needle, go ahead and bring that wrap through the original slip knot and up. So now I have two stitches, okay? I'm gonna completely ignore this puff. I will take my left hand needle and coming around I want to swivel and scoop at that stitch on my right hand needle and place it onto my left. So now I have two stitches. Completely ignoring this poof, once again I will go into the stitch I just put onto my left hand needle, put my right hand needle in, only using that string I'm going to wrap my right hand needle, bring that out, swivel and scoop and put that on. Then I repeat, I go into the stitch I just created, working only with that string there, wrap around, come out, swivel and scoop. Now, I do have a little bit of slack here. I want to go ahead and just completely ignore that. The reason I want to ignore that is as this piece gets made or whatever it is you're making, the stitches begin to um, fall into place and so that slack will be eaten up. So don't worry about it. What you want to do though is because I got two stitches in between those two poofs, I'll ignore that next poof and when I make this next stitch, I'm working with the next strand of yarn. So let's go ahead and do that. Wrap around come out, swivel and scoop, go in, wrap, come out, swivel and scoop. You see that? So right here, so I had my slip knot and then the first stitch after that, then I had two stitches in the next strand, two stitches in this strand. So I have six stitches on here right now. Here's my poof, I will ignore it. I'm gonna go into the next strand here. So I'll go into the stitch, Come out, swivel and scoop. In, around, out, swivel and scoop. So I have eight stitches on there. Now, to work back into these stitches, it's the same as you would do any other knitting, with the exception of you're gonna have these poof balls, right, on the yarn that we don't wanna use. We're just going to knit into each stitch only using our strand of yarn that is between the poofs. So let's do that now. Now that as I knit through these stitches, I will no longer be placing them onto my left hand needle. So when I yarn over and pull up and out, I will just let that stitch jump off, just like you normally do when you knit. The difference here is that we have this poof here that we absolutely want to ignore. As I go to the next, I'll ignore that poof, come to the next loop, or the next strand, right? And knit along. 
you can see here, I'm just basically knitting. And what's gonna happen here are my poofs are going to be on the opposite side that I'm looking at. So as I'm knitting on this side, my poofs are really showing up on the opposite side, okay? So as I go around here, I just carry on and all my poofs will show up on that side if I'm just knitting. If I wanted to introduce some purl stitches here, I could absolutely do that as well. When you get to the end of your project, you will simply bind off your stitches, making sure you get two stitches between each poof, just like you've been doing all along. Fasten down your work and it is complete. Now you know how to work with the new Red Heart Pompadoodle yarn. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns. Good luck. Everything you need to know about knitting or crochet can be found right here on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. Learn with Marley Bird. Visit youtube.com forward slash Marley Bird.